Hey everyone, it's Strange Michael. I hope you're doing well today. I have a film review here for another movie that uh, I'd heard of bit by bit over the years. I'd heard the title a billion times. I'd heard it on people's like best of movies from 2016 and whatever back in the day who happen to be horror fans. This movie is called The Autopsy of Jane Doe. I don't think this is one of those films that ever got a theatrical release, but it totally deserved it. It's wonderful. Everything from the filmmaking to the shots, the cinematography, the acting, the directing, all of it. It's pretty masterful for what it is. It's also from the director that I cannot pronounce his name, Andre Overdahl, I guess you could say. I don't know. It's got a it's got a slash through that zero. He's probably Norwegian or something. Anyway, the director of Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, one of my favorite franchises of all time, right there with uh, Goosebumps, you know, from Alvin Schwartz. So I consider this guy a fantastic director already. Apparently he also directed Troll Hunter, which is a film I haven't watched. The found footage troll movie, Hunting in the Woods, the Snow, something like that. Never saw that movie, plan on watching it at some point. But this director, going into this film not knowing he was attached to it, I immediately noticed the quality and realized, hey, this guy's worked with Guillermo del Toro, probably. So I looked it up, and I was right. It feels like a very uh, Guillermo del Toro type of movie, so that was kind of cool. Anyway, 2016, an hour and 26 minutes long this movie was. And it was fantastic. Now, from the title, obviously, it's about an autopsy. We follow two characters that I loved. I think the actors were wonderful. I think the writing for both of them were fantastic. It's a father and son, and the dad happens to own kind of a morgue autopsy place in the basement of his home. I assume it's his home. And uh, he gets a particular Jane Doe, which is a nameless corpse, somebody they randomly found in the police force, and they need an autopsy, basically, as soon as possible. <laughs> and uh, they're not really sure why she's preserved so well, because her eyes, when you open up her eyes from the rigor mortis, uh, it seems like she apparently has been dead longer, but they're not really sure how she was preserved, just coming right out of a rock in the side of a basement, you know, underground. So as they do the autopsy, weird things begin to happen, and the relationship between the father and son, it's not strained. It's the one horror film I've seen in recent years where we don't have a strained relationship between a parent and a child, or two friends, or anything like that, a boyfriend, girlfriend, anything like that. It's really just these two who love each other, who are trying to stick together. And the son was about to leave, too, to go spend time with his girlfriend. He decides to stay the night to help out his dad with all the hard work. Because he loves his dad, his mom apparently recently passed away in the recent years. I don't know how long it's been, I don't think the film ever said. But he feels bad for his dad. He wants to be there for him and help him out. And again, it's about their relationship. I love that. The movie itself, though, puts them into a situation where as they do this autopsy on this very, very strange case, this Jane Doe corpse that they've been given, weird things start to happen that are more in a supernatural respect. You know, it's not just as simple as the lights going out, doors opening and closing by themselves like it's a Ghost Adventures episode. No, we have a lot more happening. And some weird things with the corpse, too, that I don't want to get into. Let me tell you up front. Again, the acting from both of these guys, the, hus or the husband, <laughs> the father and the son, I meant, they're phenomenal. Both actors are wonderful. But the writing is really what brings them together even better. I think they really kill it. The only performance in the film that I don't really think is that strong is basically the girlfriend character that comes in as a small visit earlier on in the film that's kind of trying to get this son to leave soon in the coming months. But outside of her performance, everybody gives a great performance here. Everybody does a phenomenal job. But it's such a strong movie. It's not even like a feel-good movie. It's just a strong movie. It really knows what it is. It really embraces that. It really tries to develop that. And again, with it being beautifully shot, the directing being so good for the camera work and everything else, the location especially, I love. I think that, that morgue area is eerie in real life. Not that I've ever been in one, but... <laughs> Being in hospitals freaks me out. That's about as close as I'm able to get to it. But the setting that they have for this, the kind of old 1970s, 1960s home that they have for this morgue in this basement, is very unnerving, if you will. But the situation they've gotten into, the horrific supernatural events that begin to happen, it was pretty bothersome. But let me tell you this, the practical effects for this movie... And yes, most of it I would say is practical effects. They have some things enhanced by CGI, but I wouldn't say there's like CGI monsters or anything wacky like that. It's typically makeup and practical effects. And when I say the practical effects, the re reason I bring that up is because, of course, the title has the word autopsy in it. They are going to be cutting open bodies. So the effects have to look real. And let me tell you, these practical effects are phenomenal. The makeup is phenomenal. 
I don't know how they did some of this stuff, how they made it look so real. They had to have consulted with some real people who have messed with real dead bodies. They absolutely had to have to be able to accomplish the things they accomplished in this movie. The autopsy of Jane Doe, I'm surprised that it's been almost like seven years like since it came out and I've completely missed this movie. This is the same year BVS came out, you know? And yet I have heard of this sporadically in the same way that I've heard of The Deep House in sporadic moments throughout YouTube and my time watching it. And I'm glad that I finally sat down to watch it. It was free to watch on Prime, I believe. I think it was Prime or Hulu. It might have been on Hulu, actually. But anyway, it was free to watch, and I had a streaming service, obviously, that had it. And I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was really, really enjoyable. It may be on, like, Tubi or something. So do yourself a favor if you're a big fan of horror, if you're a big fan of character-driven stories. Not a movie focused around a relationship or some kind of crazy nonsense bullshit. If you want something surprising that has some good twists to it and some creativity to it, this is one of the best examples you could have in recent years. This is one of those shocking, to me, movies that I saw recently, like Mandy with Nick Cage, that I'd missed for years and years, and I finally saw it, and I just was shocked by how good this was, the amount of quality put into it. The autopsy of Jane Doe is phenomenal for what it is. Um, there's very, not really much, in my opinion, any flaws to it, but for me, my rating will reflect kind of my opinion of rewatchability, because the mysterious nature of this movie, the supernatural elements, and the mystery, the mystery, excuse me, tied to that is what makes this film so good. So you kind of have to, you know, consider as a rewatch, how good would it be? I don't think it would hold up as well on a rewatch. The tension would, the characters would, and maybe that's the benefit of the movie, but otherwise, I don't know. But every time I, he I hear a, a bell from now on, I will think twice because of this movie. If you've seen the film, you know why. Anyway, The Autopsy of Jane Doe, if I had to rate this film on a five-star basis, I would give it a very high four out of five stars. What a movie, man. If you've not seen it, you are missing out, my friend. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Put your thoughts and comments down below for my review, for the movie, all of that. Let me know your experience with it. Thank you all for watching again. God bless you all, and goodbye.